Hi, welcome to my channel. At kung bago ka lang dito, ay huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at pindutin lang ang notification bell para lagi kayong update sa aking mga bagong mag tutorial videos. Today, ang ituturo ko naman sa inyo ay kung paano mag-factor ng trinomial na mayroong kasamang fraction at trinomial na may malaking leading coefficient. Pag masyado kasing malaki yung leading coefficient, mahirap siyang gamitan ng x factor method. So, ituturo ko sa inyo ngayon yung technique kung paano ito sagutan. Example number 1. 8x squared minus 11x plus 7 over 2 is equal to 0. So, step 1, multiply all terms by 2 para matanggal yung denominator natin na 2. So, magiging 16x squared minus 22x plus 7 is equal to 0. Kung mapapansin natin, malaki yung ating leading coefficient lalo na kapag minultiply natin ito doon sa ating constant term kaya mahirap gamitin dito yung uh, x factor method so ang ituturo ko sa inyo ngayon kung paano ito sagutan dito maglagay lang ulit tayo ng dalawang open and close parenthesis pagkatapos kunin ulit natin yung nasa quadratic term pero hindi kasama yung exponent. So, 16x lagay natin dito next yung 16 at saka 7 in this na kunin natin yung kanilang product ilabas lang natin sila ayan Pagkatapos, kunin natin yung factor o tamang factor ng 16 at 7. So, 16, uh, 8 times 2, then 7 is 7 times 1. After that, kunin natin class yung product ng 2 at ng 7. So, 2 times 7 is 14. 8 times 1 8. So, pagkatapos natin makuha yung product nila, i-add naman natin yung 14 tsaka 8. 14 and 8 is equal to 22. So, i-compare natin dito sa ating middle term. So, since yung middle term natin is negative, kailangan gawin natin negative yung 14 tsaka 8. So, negative 14 plus negative 8 is equal to negative 22. Ayan. So, sila na ngayon yung ilalagay natin sa loob ng parenthesis. So, yung first factor natin, divisible parehas by 8. So, divide natin parehas by 8. And then, doon sa second factor natin, divisible naman sila by 2. So, divide natin sila by 2. So, simplify natin. So, magiging 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. Then, sa kabila naman, 8x minus 7 is equal to 0. Then, solve natin yung x. x is equal to 1 half. And x is equal to 7 over 8. Okay, another example. So, 12x squared minus x minus 35 is equal to 0. So, gawa lang ulit tayo ng dalawang open and close parenthesis. Lagay natin yung 12x. Tapos, ilabas natin yung ating first term, uh, uh, first numerical coefficient or leading coefficient, and then yung ating constant term. So, 12 and 35. Tapos, hanapin natin yung tamang factor nila. So, yung 12 is 4 times 3. So, 35 is 7 times 5. Then, multiply 3 times 7. 3 times 7 is 21. 5 times 4, 20. Then, add natin, 21 plus 20 is 41. So, ang inahanap natin kailangan is equal to negative 
1. So, kaya ang gagawin natin, papalitan natin ang sign ni 21. So, yung 21, gagawin natin negative. So, bali magiging negative 21 plus positive 20 is equal to negative 1. So, ito na, nat ito na yung ilalagay natin doon sa loob ng parenthesis. So, 12x minus 21 times the quantity of 12x plus 20 is equal to 0. Then, kunin natin yung divisible nila. So, i-divide lang natin. So, 12 divided by 3 is 4x minus 7 and 3x plus 5 is equal to 0. Then, solve natin yung value ng x x is equal to 7 over 4 and x is negative 5 over 3. Okay, so para naman sa inyong quiz, pakisagutan lang yung ating number 1 and number 2. So, ganun lang uli pagkatapos nyong magsagot, tsaka nyo na lang uli i-play. Okay, so sagutan na natin. Number 1 is negative 5 over 3 and 7 over 6. Number 2, x is equal to negative 5 over 7 and 4 over 3.